everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with cross-platform development using the Visual Studio 2022. We also look at the necessary components needed for us to get started. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. So let's get straight into it. So cross-platform development allows you to create applications that run on multiple operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android using a single code base. So this approach saves time, reduces cost and ensures a consistent user experience across different devices. So first of all, let's set up Visual Studio for cross-platform development. So if you haven't installed the Visual Studio yet, download it from the official website. During installation, make sure to select the workloads for mobile, mobile development with .NET and desktop development with C++. So these workloads include all the necessary tools and libraries for building cross-platform applications. But if you've already installed your Visual Studio, let's go ahead and open the Visual Studio installer. So as you can see here, we go ahead and click on the modify. So here, we got to make sure, let's make sure that we have um, this um, workload is installed. So as you can see, I've got this selected. So this is under the desktop and mobile. So make sure you have .NET multi-platform app UI development. So this actually helps you to build Android, iOS, Windows, like I said earlier on. And you've got to make sure that you've got this also selected. Um, desktop development with C++. Okay. So if you've got all that bit sorted out here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and close our Visual Studio installer. And, and open our Visual Studio. So once you open our Visual Studio. Go ahead and click on the create a new project. So as you can see here now, we've got um, a bunch of templates that you can you can use. So on the platforms here, as you can see, you can leave it at all platforms here. But obviously, to make it better, let's select one of the platforms. So as you can see here, once we select the other platforms, we've got this uh, .NET Maui app. So it's a project for creating a .NET Maui application for iOS, Android. Mac Catalyst, Windows UI, etc. Yeah. So basically, you can create one project, one single code base to target multiple platforms. Okay. So let's select this here yeah, and click on the. Let's select this. Click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details like your project name, um, the location of the solution, and whatnot. Yeah. We're not going to look too much into that, but obviously you can change the project name if you want to. So let's go ahead and click on next. So here you can select what trick or what framework that is um, applicable to you. So as you can see, I've only got one one framework installed, yeah, which is the .NET 8.0. Yeah, but if you've got multiple frameworks, then you can have a look at that as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on the create. So as you can see here now, we've got a new .NET Maui cross-platform project created for us now. So let's go ahead and look at the project structure. So let's um, expand this folder, um, platforms, yeah? So this contains a folder for all the targeted platforms, yeah? Okay, so it contains the platform-specific um, code, yeah? So as you can see here now, we've got um, Android, which contains an Android-specific code. Uh, we've got iOS, which contains the iOS code. Uh, we've got a uh, Mac Catalyst and the Windows for Windows specific. Okay, so the resources also contains um, the folders for um, the application icon, um, the fonts, the images, splash, and the styles, and whatnot. Yeah. So, and then. The app.saml contains the UI resources, okay, like it's actually put out, um, put together like the colors, the styles and whatnot, yeah. So let's go ahead and open the style as well. So as you can see here, yeah, we've got the colors. 
thumbnail which contains the color definition and we've got some styles here which contains that the, i mean how the uh, how the app will be laid out okay so let's go ahead and let's go to the uh, the main page dot saml so basically the main page dot saml contains what we've got the main um, application ui or the main project ui okay which contains a bunch of um, ui elements like button um, label and whatnot yeah but we look you come back and look at it again yeah and if we expand it we've got the code behind yeah so this actually contains the supporting code yeah like the the main page and the initialized component to get the, um, the project or the, um, the app started okay and then we've got um we've got an on click event handler here so basically there's there should be something that when you click uh, like a number a counter yeah so we're gonna have a look at it in a bit yeah and then we've got the main ui this contains the um the startup the startup code here yes? and then the configuration code as well okay so now let's go ahead and have a look at how we can build and run it yeah we come back first let's build it and see what actually comes out of it okay so so let's go ahead and click and expand it so as you can see here now we've got um the, the more like, we've got multiple platforms that we can target from this single code base yeah so as you can see we've got an android emulator we've got ios local device we've got ios remote device ios simulators and we've got here we've got we can target the windows mac catalyst so this basically for free plan for desktop so, okay so first, as you can see yeah, we've got a windows um, a windows machine selected here so first of all let's run it on windows and see what actually comes out of it so as we can see here now we've got the application running on windows okay so let's close it and let's come back to this bit again so let's select android so if you if you don't have your if you don't have an android emulator you can watch my video on getting started with the Android emulator and, and get your emulator set up. Yeah. So let's let's have let's wait. I mean, let's run it on Android. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing runs. Yeah. So as you can see, yeah, the Android build is taking a bit longer, but obviously you get what I'm trying to do here. So obviously you can wait for your Android to build just to compare how the whole thing works out. Yeah. So I'll leave this video here and I hope this helped you to create your first cross-platform app with Visual Studio 2022. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and make sure you like the video and share it as well. Thanks for your time. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.